Hello, welcome to the various cinema and video applications workflow uh, video. This is going to give you some ideas to work while you're outside of class. So this is the overview of the whole unit. Uh, we go uh, first we start with that main idea, then we go into the treatment, then we go into scripting, uh, scripting, then we go into script breakdown, location list, location scouting, st shot list, storyboarding, and then item inventory list. Then after that, your outside work would be the shoot, then you would edit in class, and then you would publish it for the cinema premiere at the end of the year. So, the number one thing you need to do when you come in to start with that idea, you'll be using story.adobe.com. It's an amazingly free tool for scripting and adding details to an idea, so you can actually add comments. It's a proper tool for formatting because you can use the scene heading, you can use the different actions, you can tell it what's dialogue, what's not dialogue, you can create different shot lists from this story.adobe.com. Really great tool. Now, this is why you are watching this video. So this is the assignment you'll get in the frame of mind to make up your first film. It's a short summary about your project. Should it be about two paragraphs. So your film is three to six minutes long, so have a, the enough time in that presentation to the class to get uh, some feedback. So it should be pretty developed. You know, I don't want anything that's, you know, oh, I was thinking about this. No, it should be, you know, this is my idea. Uh, these are my actors I was thinking to have in mind. These are my locations I was going to shoot. Um, what do you guys think? Then students in the class that are your peers will be get you feedback to get your projects better and more organized so that everyone else can basically see what you're planning to work on. Also, you might be able to get other interested students to help you with your project. I encourage a lot of collaboration while in this stage. If you don't have a good frame of mind for this treatment project, then you will not like your next three months with me in the cinema class. So after you create your treatment, you need to develop your log line based on your treatment. A log line basically devising a one sentence idea or description of their story, right? It includes the main character, the main antagonist, or the main uh, person that's going to you know, fight them, the nature of their conflict, genre elements. If it's a comedy, it should be funny. If it's a thriller, it should thrill. And if it's horror, it should be really, really scary. Hints, at least, of the plot through the line, right? So I want to read you the beginning or a logline example. So while the rest of the world begins to lose their memories, a soul teenager starts to learn things about the world that he never had dreamed of, right? So this is very important to keep that logline. It keeps you focused, and that way when you're in the middle of telling that story, filming, or writing, you can come back to the log line and they can get collaboration from other peers when you tell that log line story. So anyway, telling that story with your treatment is really important because you need to have that idea and you need to have that idea pretty fully formed before you start to write your script, right? This is like the rough draft. You can even create an outline of it if you want as well. That will help you tell that story and get those ideas on paper, really important. So that is the treatment. After that, we go right into scripting, and that way you can start with the rest of the overview, right? So from the scripting, we go into the script breakdown, which will be a later lesson. Then we go into the location list. Uh, that was basically just a list of locations from your script breakdown. Then you go physically go out to that area, take pictures of those locations. That goes into your shot list and or storyboarding, as they call it. So that shot list and storyboarding work together to keep that idea for your project. So while you're out there shooting, you have an idea and remember, oh, I would move my camera here. My item inventory list is the last step and that's what all the things you need for each of those scenes. And then you go out and shoot your project. So just be aware of that as we move forward and to finish up this project. Thank you very much and I will see you in class.